Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany with Bits of Brit Leveling Up. I try to post new videos every week about my leveling up journey. Today's video is going to be me leveling up, cleaning, organizing my space in the kitchen, actually. Not just my space, but specifically the kitchen. Um, it is filmed over a few days, but I did do majority of it in two days, and so let's go ahead and get into it. This part of the video is obviously the utensil drawer, and as you can see up top on that counter, I have had those old containers. They're like 15 plus years old because we got them from his grandma who had them for quite some time. So they are definitely old. So it's nice to be able to level up, level up our space and have like unified pretty items, but I'm not going to lie. I am definitely struggling with them because they move a lot and it just makes it hard for it to be completely organized. I definitely have to tidy it up quite a bit and that makes it difficult to enjoy. Um, down here in the uh, temper, temper drawer, storage drawer, um, that little thing that I had and I put those lids in, I did get that from the Dollar Tree and I've had for quite some time so I'm super thankful that it fit in this bottom drawer with everything. I'm not able to fit all my temperware in this drawer here, um, but the majority of it is. The other stuff is in the cabinet for items that are too big or um, for to-go items for people who want to take food to go. And then in these two drawers here, um, yeah, they're still pretty bare and strugglesome. <laughs> I haven't really got them completely organized. I still have uh, a vision for it to be a little bit more organized and put together so I'm sure <laughs> that will be in another video but that's what I have so far and it's working out great um, and the next little drawer here that you're gonna see I am just um, putting lids and miscellaneous things down here because I don't know what to do with it <laughs> it's so weird uh, I do have my cutting boards over here I'm about to organize the fridge and freezer and the pantry, but I wanted to give a quick little rundown of how things are looking. Like, it is just crazy in here. I don't know if you can see much, but it's just crazy. And then the fridge is very empty because we didn't really do too much grocery shopping last week. So, this is what we have here. And then I do want to order another like shelf like that to be able to put right there because it looks like it was meant to be there, but it's not. And then this is our pantry. And this is how it is looking right now. Not the best. Um, obviously I need to get that out of there. Well, this stuff out of here and that down there at the bottom and start organizing it. After cleaning out the fridge, I did decide to do the uh, cabinet above the microwave and then the cabinet above the fridge just so that I had a little bit more space. Once I had the pantry um, started and getting going on that, started from the top working my way down, I guess, was the goal. Um, that cabinet is a lot deeper than I thought and I did not get a stool tall enough so I pretty much had to climb in there just a little bit to get it all organized. And then next I am just taking a few things out of the pantry and putting it in that top cabinet so I have a little bit more space to work with. And once I do get into here, um, <laughs> you can see Jimmy come in and try to make face or not or whatever it is. Kind of funny story. He asked me, he's like, why do you always edit those out? And I was like, I don't edit it out. It's just normally sped up when he does do that kind of thing. So you don't really get to see him be goofy. <laughs> he cracks me up. Um, so this little organizer or shelf thing that I did have at the other place too came in super duper handy here, but I think I misjudged the size just by a little bit and struggled to be able to get it to fit completely in here and it started tilting and like bending and then I got it stuck because I was like, oh, well, yep, that's not going to work. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and try to put it up top and realizing that I'm not the tallest, I'm going to go ahead and lower the little shelves down a little bit so that I can just put like noodles or small miscellaneous things on the bottom shelves and then like bigger things like my rice or my miscellaneous containers that I have um, that are a little bit bigger up there and that will be easier to grab. You'd see me telling Jimmy about why it was leaning and why I decided to move it from its original spot. Um, as I'm going through here, I'm realizing that the 
lighting is super bad on this one. My green uh, tank top now looks completely black. So I do apologize for that. Uh, as you can tell here, I'm just trying to figure out the best organization possible. And I'm going through my miscellaneous organizing things that I had for my other poem um, and seeing what's going to work best in here. And I did try those little shelves from the Dollar Tree and I feel like it's working pretty good so far. And I have quite a few other ones just randomly that I ended up pulling um, and using in here instead of in places that I used um, at my other house because the pantry looks so much better organized. Um, and then as I'm going through here, I realize that these little like instant rice packets or those instant um, mashed potato packets, but like sitting lit or sideways works out pretty freaking amazing. And then I had these little um, cabinet thingies um, that just hang on the shelves that I used to use for dishes and organization in the kitchen and so that worked out perfect here for the pantry but I'm struggling to figure out how I exactly want it because I've never really had a pantry before so I've never really had my food put together and once again you see me kind of explaining to Jimmy what I was thinking um he didn't really once again care how it was all set up so he didn't really provide too much input I'm just asking about certain things here and then I think I'm going to almost call it a, a day after just adding a few more things to the cans. Um, I don't end up having enough to completely finish this can area. And so you can see that um, I'm just kind of playing around with it to see what I can do to make it work. I do end up just using, I think, two of them that I have from another location and putting that smaller one back down there instead and I feel like it worked out pretty good so far. I'm probably once again going to reorganize this again. I do plan on putting like that little shoe hanging thing over the door for spices. Okay so it is looking so much better. So this top part here is supposed to have the ice maker thing in it but it's obviously not there. So I made a makeshift, <laughs> makeshift shelf for the stuff up here and then just kind of organize the meat like we did at the other place and then over here I have some of my stuff that I use for like my veggies and stuff like that over here as well um, tucked away so Jimmy doesn't have to kind of rifle through it to look for the things that he likes and then I have sh these shelves down here for whatever food he prefers and likes so that he doesn't have to look through them and then more veggies and then for the fridge it's pretty empty um, <laughs> Yeah, so we're obviously getting the grocery order like I mentioned, and there's just miscellaneous things in here. So once we get our ice thing and our water thing fixed, obviously we won't have to have that in there. And then I finally cleaned that out. So up top, there's some um, miscellaneous things, so the paper towels and my protein powder. And then i super excited. Just kidding about this, the pantry. So I finally got the pantry organized. I was kind of stressing because I didn't think that there was gonna be enough room for our food, but frankly, there's only two of us. So if we have that much food, we are probably hoarding food. I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so at the bottom here, we have um, just, it's gonna be storage. And then these bins are Jimmy's snacks down here on the shelf. And then from like this part over is gonna be my miscellaneous snack stuff. And then our quick, easy meals, canned food items, and then whatever these bins are. Um, yeah, full of those stuff. And the box items and then miscellaneous like extra items up here. So if we get extra bags of chips, they'll go up top up there too. As I was editing, I realized I didn't end up showing that I moved everything, like the spices and the miscellaneous things, into the shoe rack that I was talking about. So I obviously have quite a bit more room to add stuff to, and a lot of it's just random miscellaneous things, so hopefully I can get it a little bit organized a little bit more. But I love it. I feel like it's a pretty genius idea. On another day while my coffee was brewing, I decided I was just going to go ahead and pull everything out of the junk drawer and start cleaning and organizing it. So let's see what that looks like. This is the junk drawer. Um, you already seen me pull everything out of the drawer, so it's this drawer right here. Not the smallest drawer, so there was plenty of space, but I'm still kind of like, holy cow, I can't believe that all of this stuff fit in there. 
So now I'm just gonna go, to go through everything and put them back where they belong or make a new spot for them. Getting that junk joy clean. The sun is coming through, so it's kind of leaving a little bit of glare, but this is what we have left. So, you okay guys, let me just toss this in recycling and then I can toss these two items real quick. Okay, so this is pretty much what's gonna be left in the junk drawer for now. I need to get some organizers so I can organize it a little better. These are all the things that used to be on our fridge at the other place, and then those are the extra magnets and just miscellaneous things, and I'm not quite sure what to do with yet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that paper pile and this to my office. And then all of these are going out to the garage so they can be organized in our tool slash using item, which I haven't even put together yet. So at this point, it's um, a made up thing, but that's the goal. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show y'all Jimmy's little cookout thingy. So it came to go together all folded and like a few pieces here. Um, and then I just added the rest of his uh, barbecue stuff and just going to clamp it together. Let me do that real quick. I'll clamp it together with this little thing. And then in the pantry, we have this little nifty hook and it just kind of tucks away like it's not even there. Totally forgot about it when I was putting all of this together to put into the garage. <sighs> okay, next on the kitchen is the under the sink. Um, there is quite a bit more under the sink than I think I've had before. And so I'm definitely gonna be doing some decluttering, I think hopefully, or just using it all up. But there's a quite a bit under here, quite a few trash bags, miscellaneous things. I don't know what's all back there. And then just something down there. We have some organizing things. Let me grab those real quick. Alrighty, so these are the things I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I have quite a bit of organizing stuff down here. <laughs> Obviously we'll be using the cloth ones down there. But yeah, there's quite a bit, a few different ones. So let's get to this. But before we do, look how cute my little puppy is. Okay, but anyways, let's do it. Procrastination station. Everything that was under the sink is now out and now I have to try to figure, it, figure out um, how to organize it. I'm still not quite sure. I don't even want to talk about my thoughts because I don't know. Let me just, let me just see. Let's see what we can do here. Did get rid of a few things. We're getting rid of this stuff here. Um, and then this is gonna go underneath the bathroom sink since it's pretty much all bathroom stuff. And then I did hang the little dish strainer there. I have a little one there. So just in case I need that, I might end up decluttering it. And then we have a few things down here. And then the two garbage bag sizes we use, the dish pods and then the gloves. We have extra bags and then the dish plugs. Um, some cleaning things, scrubbers, sponges, miscellaneous things, and then 
miscellaneous. <laughs> I honestly don't even really know what this is. Literally just miscellaneous stuff. Didn't want to quite part with yet. And then we have extra cleaning products back there, floor cleaners, carpet cleaners and stuff, which we don't have carpet cleaners anymore, but just, I mean carpets, but we still have our area rugs. So I'm going to hold on to those. And then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hand soap, dish soap. And then I have this cool little thing because our townhouse was quite a bit smaller and we had to use that to help organize our counter but now I have plenty of space so I really don't need it so I thought I was gonna have to get rid of it but I was able to put it down here which I'm so excited about and then I have this little um, pitcher with my little sponge in here that I'm gonna use to be cleaning the sink so that's what we have here underneath the sink yay I'm excited looks good but I need to take this off so that these can, um, the little hooks can have some time to set. I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like. For one of my miscellaneous projects, I am gonna go ahead and cut this mat here and put them, insert them into the little thing so that I can put my oils and my sprays up here. I did clean it out already, but it's stuff that's not coming up and I'm not gonna fight with it right now. Maybe that will be a project down the road, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and use this. And editing, I realized again, I did not and film the last part of this so I did end up cutting these little things but I did put the paper towels on there because these bottles are already old and oily um, but that is it and that'll actually be all for today's video thanks so much for being here and joining I hope that y'all did like that and if you did please come and subscribe